This is Techno 1, episode 89, Reusing Your Old Computer. I'm Jordan Berman. I'm Mike Dovin. And t- today we're going to talk to you about what to do with that uh, old computer that's lying around your house. You have no idea what to do. You have several options. Um, one of them is there's an alternative operating system that often it runs uh, less memory. It uh, can run on lower end computers. Uh, you can use Linux, which we talked about in episode 16. We talked about Ubuntu Linux, and there's a lot of other distributions too. There's um, two specifically that are well designed for smaller end computers, such as uh, Puppy Linux, which is a small version, and there's also VSL. Uh, damn small Linux, which are very uh, low power uh, and process consuming, uh, and as well as memory needing uh, operating systems. Yeah, so maybe you just want to give those a try. Another option is make it into a home server, which is you can install an operating, or not really an operating system, a system called FreeNAS. It's a, sort of a Linux distribution. You install it and you plug it into your home network, and you could store all your files that you want to share across your home on one server and then you, can, then you can access it remotely wherever you go in the house. It's kind of convenient. Um, it's kind of a neat idea, uh, especially if you, even if your hard drive's not that big, if it's like a 20 gig hard drive, that's pretty good for maybe your music library, your photos, your videos, something you want to share around the house. Yeah, it's nice to have your, all your stuff ac- accessible in one spot from every computer. Yeah. So. Uh, one thing you might need to know before you set um, with you, that you'll need to know in order to set up your home server is how to network your house. Uh, for that, it's the Tech Number One Episode Nineteen Wireless Networking. Okay, what I did with my old computer when I got my new MacBook was I turned my old computer into a media center. There's a f- there's two different ways you can kind of do a media center. You can do it like uh, where it's only a media center and that's all it does, or you can just keep running a normal operating system and run a media center program like maybe media or Windows Media Center or Boxy or a bunch of others. And it's kind of a neat way to just keep all your stuff on, on one computer to watch and entertain and then you can do your work on your good computer. You can also, if you have a new TV from like maybe the last four or five years, with like this one. Sort of on the higher end with uh, either a DVI, S-Video or VGA port on it, you can hook your computer right into your TV. Yeah. And use that as your media center. Like we did with this one. You can donate your power to Folding at Home, which is a kind of interesting way of doing it. It's a program you run on your system that lets you take your processing power and over the internet, you can let scientists use the processing power of your old computer to s- solve equations that will help in the curing of cancer and all sorts of other research. And the only thing is you are going to have to pay for the electric bill. So free program, you just got to pay for the electricity going to your computer and still power it. Another option is that you can just donate it. A lot of places like churches and a lot of no other nonprofit uh, th- organizations don't really have the money yeah. to uh, buy computers and rely solely on uh, donations from people to, uh, to, to uh, have computers. Yeah. Like uh, Dobin's church, he's, uh, he knows for a fact that all those computers in there were donated. Yeah. And churches really do appreciate it, and uh, it really helps people when you donate. You can donate to schools sometimes, churches, um, I don't know where else, homeless people, maybe. Uh, another option is you can just sell your computer online. Yeah. For me, I actually bought uh, both my first laptops from eBay that were sold. Um, it may not, it may just sell for fifty bucks. But just the fact that you sold it for fifty bucks is fifty bucks more than you had beforehand. And you get rid of something. Yeah, and you get you clear up a little space in your house. Uh, I like to sell things on Amazon. I have an Amazon merchant account. I sell a lot of stuff online through that, and it's a good system. That's what I use usually when I sell stuff. You could also, if maybe part of your computer is not working, sell for parts. Take out what you think works. Like maybe um, the motherboard died on you or something. Your hard drive is still perfectly good. Your processor might not be amazing, but I'm sure there's someone that needs a new processor. The RAM is probably still good. Depends on what part breaks. Especially if it's a laptop. Laptop parts 
especially if they're older, are hard to find. So if someone needs it, they will be willing to pay a good amount of money for it. I actually replaced two heat sinks in my laptops, and I think I paid a good 50 bucks for each heat sink. Exactly, and people who really need their computer are willing to pay that kind of money. And like with the laptop, if your display still works and something else goes, laptop displays can be sold. You just have to dismantle kind of the cover or the lid of your computer. You can pop the display right out. Um, the last thing you can do is if all else fails, you're just sick of the computer, it's not worth anything, take it to a recycling center so that way it will at least be disposed of properly and so all the toxins that are inside of that computer don't get leached into the environment. But you gotta watch out for, when you go looking for a recycler, look for one that will, um, that's kind of reputable, not one that will be sending them over to China to be disposed of. A lot of, like a lot of CRTs have uh, mercury and other harmful chemicals in them and they just ship them right over to China and all the people there are actually getting slowly poisoned from that work. So that's the nine different ways you can recycle your computer. Um, so the nine different ways you can, um, nine different ways you can dispose of your, or reuse your old computer, uh, running Linux, a home server, media center, donating your processing power, donate it to someone, and they'll appreciate it a lot, sell it online, sell for parts, and recycle it. So hopefully this will help you get rid of that computer that's just laying around doing nothing. Maybe you'll, maybe you'll find yourself some space, or maybe you'll find yourself some use. Or money. Or you can give it to a good cause. Uh, I'm Mike Dovin. And I'm Jordan Berman. To watch this episode again, or to watch any of our prior episodes, you can visit our website, 911.tecker.net, T-E-C-K-E-R. And on the website, we have uh, our prior episodes as well as you can view them directly on the website or you can download them in WMV for Windows, iPod or QuickTime format for your iPod or if you have iTunes installed, an MP3 audio only version of the show, and a WMV HD version of the show which you can download via BitTorrent that looks really, really clear uh, and in pristine HD quality and instructions for downloading via BitTorrent are also on the site. On the right hand side we have more information about us and about each of the members of the show as well as quick links to all of our prior episodes and links to the RSS feeds for each of the formats that we release the show in and links to subscribe to the show in iTunes if you have an iPod, an Apple TV, an iPhone, any Apple device you can click on that link in either video or audio format you can also, in iTunes, search for Tecker, T-E-C-K-E-R, uh, in the iTunes store, and then you can find our podcast that you can subscribe to free. Also, if you do not have, a, if you do not have an iPod, if you have like a generic MP3 player, then you can use the, uh, you can still listen to our show if on our website you subscribe to this MP3 audio version in a feed catcher, in a pod catcher like Juice. Uh, you can search for Juice on Google download that program and then it will load the shows automatically onto your uh, generic mp3 playing device. If you have any questions about the show or about technology, you can send us an email at 911 at .net, or you can leave us a voicemail at 610-572-2847. Thank you so much for watching Tecker 911.